Rocket League has a ridiculous amount of incredible mechanics at this point. But while there truly are so many of them now, it wasn't always like that. So many different maneuvers that are commonplace today at one point had to be discovered and perfected by someone. And the times where they actually were scored for the first time made for some truly phenomenal moments. So today, in chronological order, I'm showcasing five extraordinary times this actually happened. A cinematic breakdown of what made them possible, the ridiculous statistics behind them, and exactly why they shocked everyone. These are five times Rocket League pros scored new mechanics. Today's video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is a web browser that's specifically built for gamers. It has a bunch of features that are really handy that other web browsers don't have. There's this one called GX Control, which allows you to limit the RAM, CPU, and network usage so you can play your games with max quality and FPS while keeping your browser open at the same time. You can see the difference it makes in your task manager. It's really nice. Another really cool feature is the customization options. You can browse thousands of mods on the GX store. They only take a few seconds to install, and each of them come with their own sound effects, background music, Music, wallpapers and more and you can manage them really easily if you don't like certain sounds or you want to mix and match multiple mods together making the switch to opera gx is super easy too thanks to the quick import tool it literally only takes a few seconds to transfer all of your extensions and settings over from your previous browser all of this is completely free by the way you can download this right now if you want if you want to check it out and learn more click the link in the description or the pinned comment to get started thanks again to opera gx for sponsoring the video since we're going in chronological order here, we're gonna start all the way back at a time where even basic mechanics were considered impressive. Let's go back to the mechanic that changed Rocket League rotation. Back in 2017, about a year and a half after the RLCS first started, most top teams were finally starting to balance out into a fairly similar rotation style. A style that had a pretty big emphasis on aggression and pressure, and a little less on safety. Players were realizing at this time that the best teams in the world all had the best pressure in the world, with defense being more of an afterthought by comparison. It was a play style that worked really well at the time, but one particular mechanic on October 8th, 2017, immediately poked a massive hole in it. In this play, Flipside Tactics were trying to close out their final series of league play in a clean sweep. A clear from Team Secret shot out the ball into the open hands of Cookser. Since the clear was big enough, Cookser actually had a little bit of space to work with once he caught it. But despite that space, Team Secret quickly closed the gap to pounce on the opportunity while they still could. And you can see the entire team move up in unison in this moment. Unfortunately for them though, Cookser had brought the ball to the sidewall quick enough that he could basically set up whatever he wanted. Most often from this position, you would normally see this player here go for an air dribble. After all, air dribbles already existed at this time in RLCS, and people like Cookser were definitely capable of them. But rather than go for something predictable, he decided to try something a bit more surprising. For Cookser in particular, he recently discovered on his own a completely new technique for pinches that he was about to use successfully for the first time in pro play. Cookser jumps up to meet the ball as it rolls up the ramp, turns his car sideways to make sure his first contact is with the corner, and front flips at the perfect time to send it at a ridiculous 149 kilometers per hour. Since this was the first time a goal like this had ever been scored in the RLCS, it makes total sense why the last defender back for Secret was completely stunned. Pressure will need to send it away. He makes the touch. Oh, and what? No, no way. What are you kidding me? Look at this pinch from Cookster. I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. 124 kilometers per hour. Um, Cooks. <laughs> From that point on, the Cookser pinch had officially gotten its name and eventually solidified itself as a new fundamental mechanic. There's no doubt in the minds of Rocket League fans today that the flip reset is one of the most game-changing mechanics out there for pro play, if not the most. Even just taking a quick glance at the modern RLCS meta, it's so clear just how crucial they are. You're bound to see multiple attempts at them every single professional game you watch. But who scored the first one? Obviously, there had to be a first. Pros didn't start really using them competitively until around 2019. But as for which flip reset was actually the first, it's not exactly clear to the average fan. 
On November 11th, 2018, the grand finals of RLCS Season 6, Squishy on Cloud9 scored one of the most memorable early flip resets in Rocket League. A soft clear from KDOP ended up being the perfect setup for Squishy to chip the ball in the air and set up this incredible mechanic. Normally, once you jump off the ground, you would have 1.45 seconds to use your dodge afterwards. If you don't use it in that time, you missed your chance and can't use it anymore. However, if you turn your car over and land all four wheels on the ball, that 1.45 four or five second timer actually resets and remains there infinitely. So you can now wait as long as you want and use your dodge at any moment. This flip reset in the final game of season six is without a doubt one of the most iconic early ones, but it's definitely not the first. More than a month earlier in league play of that same season, Justin on NRG scored a picture perfect one against the defense of Rogue. And this is, today just continues to be one of those days. <laughs> Justin finally though, look at that. But believe it or not, this one also wasn't the first. To find the true first flip reset, we need to go back way further to a one-off play that was way ahead of its time. Chances they need a goal soon. Siki still being a nuisance on defense. This is Serba puts a shot in. In a scramble in front of the net, Northern Gaming's Remco jumps up and beats Farah to a short aerial. This touch pops the ball off the backboard and into the zone right in front of the net for Devo. Unfortunately though, Devo misreads the bounce and approaches it a little bit too quickly, forcing him to readjust and hit the underside of the ball with his wheels. Flip reset, acquired. From here, the ball bounces softly off the backboard again, and Devo hovers in the air to maintain his now infinite dodge, and finally uses it a ridiculous 2.28 seconds after leaving the ground. Since this play was so ahead of its time, most Rocket League players didn't even know what a flip reset was, including the analysts, apparently. The reaction to it back then shows you just how far we've come. Sick, he is a beast in defense oh! right now. All of a sudden, up Devo oh! gets a touch to turn Oh, what? Oh, the goal line. Put it in. Goal. Finally oh. finishes it off, but can we give credit to Devo? What a pass. What a touch indeed. What even is that? Since we're already on the topic of flip resets, let's check out a different kind that even today remains an incredibly difficult and rare mechanic. Let's talk about the pancake. Being one of the many mechanics that started in the freestyling world, over time, it's actually had a few instances where it was used competitively in the RLCS as well. Most recently, when Rewas did one in the 2022 Fall Cup. Oh, look at this shot! Rewas just claps it onto the back wall and then you- And most notably, when Com scored a clutch one at the 2022 Winter Major. Is there a shot coming? Com's oh. there! Squeeze it in the top! Oh my goodness! Oh, let's go manage this! However, the first one in RLCS actually goes all the way back to 2019 at the Season 8 World Championship. In this play, Garrett G tries to look for a passing lane upfield to his teammate Justin, but he slightly misjudges the angle and sends it too far out of reach for a direct pass. As a defender, this is an extremely comfortable situation. The ball's trajectory is at a perfect angle to get a huge boomer clear off the back wall to send it to the other side of the pitch. However, despite this player's comfort level in this moment, this ball actually ends up in his net in just a couple seconds. If we rewind for a moment back to when Garrett G first sent the ball away, Justin actually still jumped up for it even though he couldn't reach it directly. He jumps up to meet it at the same time it reaches the wall. He does this without even checking how far away from the wall he currently is, relying entirely on his natural game sense to make that judgment. The result is a perfect pancake completely denying the huge clear from card and putting himself in a prime position to follow it up. You know you're one of the best in the world when you can turn what should be a completely dead attack into a go-ahead goal for your team. And that's exactly what Justin did here. Game. They have not stopped with any of the pressure. Justin up for this quickly. It's in front of the oh, box. No. no one's back and Justin will score with nine seconds remaining. NRG have the lead. I'm just surprised that Justin had the boost for this, the conservation, the way he was able to bounce off the ball and zero boost. Like I said, he saved his flip. On September 21st, 2019, a player named Psycho uploaded a clip to YouTube of a type of goal that literally no one had ever scored before. 
Utilizing the entire field and getting two perfect touches in a row, it's one of the most beautiful mechanics ever discovered in Rocket League. It's so amazing that the mechanic was named after him, and this one clip sparked a ton of pros and freestylers to start learning it for themselves to use it in their own games. Little did they know though, the precision and skill it takes to actually pull this off in comp is beyond what anyone expected. Despite the mechanic gaining so much popularity and so many professional players practicing it, it wouldn't be until three years later before it's actually scored in the RLCS. But let me tell you, it was absolutely worth the wait. In this play, Daunt of Charlotte Phoenix tries to slot a shot on target from about midfield, and he actually places it really well. The power just wasn't really there though, so it would be easily covered by the defense. Gyro from Rogue jumps up for the save and gets a perfectly precise redirect to his backboard. The thing about this mechanic is you really need to laser both of your touches as fast as possible, because the ball can easily lose too much speed if you don't. On the first touch, Gyro increased its already high speed by about 17 kilometers per hour. This is really fast, in case you don't know. As it bounces off, it immediately loses most of its speed, dropping down to just 73 kph, while Gyro simultaneously uses his last remaining 14 boost to put his car in the perfect position. From there, he gets the exact touch he needs to realign the ball's trajectory and jump its speed right back up. Three years after the first one was scored and uploaded to YouTube, the Psycho had finally made its way into professional Rocket League with a goal that couldn't be more satisfying. There's that defensive double commit. Gyro fortunately able to get back to it. Gets the second touch! Gyro! What is this? Oh, oh my goodness! Yo! <laughs> At this point in Professional Rocket League, there's not a lot of mechanics out there that haven't been done before in the RLCS. After nearly eight years of Rocket League esports, we've seen just about everything at least once. But until recently, and when I say recently, I mean literally a month ago, there was one mechanic in particular that still hadn't occurred in professional play. And when you see it for yourself, you'll understand exactly why. We're about to break down one of the most insane professional goals of all time, in my opinion. In all my years as an RLCS fan, I've never seen anything like this, and honestly, I don't know if we ever will again. To begin this play, Gentlemates notice an opportunity for a huge counterattack. All three opponents are pushed up, leaving them vulnerable to be punished for it. It's clear at this moment that if Gentlemates work fast enough, Toxic from Top Cougars would be the only one remotely available to make a save. And lo and behold, Gentlemates started off perfectly with an absolute dime from Seiko to Juicy at the midfield. From here, the objective is crystal clear. In this position, Juicy is capable of placing the shot wherever he wants, really, if he just orients his car to account for it. But with the last defender coming from the right side of the net, the best placement would definitely be anywhere on the opposite side. So with some seriously phenomenal precision, Juicy pins the shot perfectly to the far post and with the absolute maximum amount of power. Literally perfect, you can't make a better shot. This alone is already so impressive. Unfortunately though, this play isn't actually about him. With unbelievably perfect timing, Toxic races the ball to the goal line and reaches it at the exact moment it begins to cross, immediately causing one of the craziest pinches I've ever seen in this game. The ball was placed perfectly against the post by Juicy at a swift 128 kph, but that level of perfection ended up being exactly what led to their demise. This play instantly went into the history books for me. Even though the setting of it wasn't as clutch as some others, it's something I think the Rock of the community will remember for quite a while. 40 seconds, Seiko needs to begin something with this play. Juicy's the opening up, oh, that's on target. Oh, it's bottom corner, it's going no! In. Toxic, it's going from in. the stage, pinching it to the <laughs> other side of the pitch. That is magical. You know it's your day when. Have we ever seen that? Thank you everyone for watching. It's always a pleasure to make these videos. If you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe and like the video to let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.